the 2012 CBR 1000 RR is the flagship super sport bike for Honda and the evolution over 20 years has been absolutely amazing. When the 93 CBR 900 RR came out, it set the benchmark that everybody had to follow and the CBR 1000 today is using that same winning formula. MotoGP and other race circuits like our World Superbike and the Suzuka 8 Hour there's so much advanced technology from our racing efforts in this motorcycle. From 2008 to 2011, has just it's done phenomenal in shootouts. In 2012, this new CBR 1000 has just gone another level above that. It's just going to be the fastest bike around the track, no matter who you put on it. It's the most balanced package when you have chassis, suspension, engine performance in a lightweight package. And what we did is take this fine-tuned instrument, and we just enhanced it, and we tuned it, and brought it to a new level of agility. You know, we've taken a bike that's already the best handling, already the fastest around the racetrack, and gone another level above it. The responsiveness of the bike is just unparalleled. We've actually fine-tuned the fuel injection to give you a, a crisp, smooth feel. When the bike has more fuel for the road, you have the ability to know exactly what the bike's doing at that moment, and that allows you to plan ahead and think about your next move. They're going to have more confidence on this bike. It's going to have more adjustability for different types of riding situations. And it's just so easy to ride. You walk away with a big smile on your face. Well, the balance free rear suspension has been used in some of the Honda race motorcycles. This is the first application to a street bike, and the huge benefit is more traction, better feel for the road, and overall higher performance than other designs. The traction level of this bike gives you that comfort feeling and the rideability of giving it as much throttle as you can handle without having to worry about the bike moving underneath you. We've upgraded the forks with uh, Showa's latest technology, Big Piston Fork. It keeps the bike a little bit more balanced under hard braking and hard cornering. For 2012, the CABS braking system has been improved by contributing a smaller percentage of action on the front brake when you're trail braking with the rear brake. The computer is going to control the front and rear wheel speed under all conditions. So we went from more of a modern, organic kind of technology look to a more aggressive, just hardcore, raw power and performance look. Starting at the front of the bike, the new face, we have a new headlight shape. Moving on to the side, these new layered cowl surfaces directs air into the cooling system and out through the side. And the new chin spoiler, which is a patent pending, helps manage air underneath the upper cowl, which helps reduce lift at high speeds. The fuel tank and the, the rear tail section are also redesigned to give it a more exotic look. For 2012, we have the new wheels, the 12-spoke wheels. The new LCD meter, it's a standalone LCD meter, which means there's everything built into this new display. So there's a new lap timer. It not only records multiple laps around the track, but it'll record your fastest lap and tell you which lap was the fastest lap. Customers have a lot of options in 1,000cc sport bikes, but with Honda, you're getting the total package. Yeah, it'll be exciting for the dealers as well, because when this bike comes out, they're going to get a lot of attention. I think customers will come in looking for it. Overall, the CBR1000 is still favored in the segment, and going forward, we'll continue to lead the way. It's some of the best riding I've ever done is on this new 2012 CBR 1000 RR. And trust me, I've ridden a lot of race bikes over my life. And uh, this is going to be one of the bikes you're going to want to have in your stable. <laughs>